good morning. We are continuing to journey together through our pauses for Lent devotional. So on Thursday of this week, I was looking over the, the words and, and one of the words for this week on Thursday is the word free. And Jesus is the one who sets us free. Why? Because Jesus is the truth and the truth sets us free is what the scripture says. Now, I don't know about you, but one of my great desires in my life over the course of my life has been the desire to be free. I think a lot of people have that desire. But how do we envision that freedom? What, is, what does freedom actually look like for us? Is it the freedom to just do whatever we want? Is that the kind of freedom that Jesus is offering? Well, biblical freedom is freedom from something and freedom for something. I learned this lesson of freedom in my life in my early 20s when we learn a lot of our lessons in life. I lived in New York City back then and I really had a rough go of independently living after college. You know, New York City is a hard place to live and I was really living paycheck to paycheck. I was working in an art gallery on a very measly salary. I mean, honestly, I think I was making less than $30,000 a year and it didn't take me long to max out a couple of credit cards and default on my student loans, I wasn't exactly a great money manager either. So one day I was with a close friend and her mother, her mother was there, and I was talking about the amount of stress and concern that was eating me up because of my financial predicament. And my friend's mother said to me, you know, I can help you with that. I can help you dig out of debt and learn how to earn a living that you can actually live on. And even help you put away some money, you know, to save it. And that picture that she created for me seemed so far from my reality. I was desperate and I was scared. So I agreed to let her help me. Well, she put me on a very strict budgeting program. I had to create categories for each month, you know, like groceries, rent, utilities, household maintenance, etc. Anybody who creates a budget, you know you've got these different categories. And she said one of my categories could be entertainment too, right? I could have some fun on a budget. So each week I would call her and I would turn into her what my categories were and what I anticipated I would be spending in each category over the course of the week. And one week I had called her up and I had told her what I'd be spending for the week and then I got an invitation to go to uh, a party with an artist from our art gallery and it was a very, uh, a very famous party. It was a party where all the, the who's who in the art world would be there. The problem was that the ticket for the party cost more than I had in my entertainment budget. And so I asked this woman, my, my financial guru, guru, I asked her, could I borrow money from one of my other categories and put it into my entertainment? She said, no, I'm sorry, you can't do that. What this means is that this party is living outside of your means and you have to live within your means. Well, I couldn't believe it. I felt I'd been slapped in the face. How could I not go to this party? How could I not just transfer some money from one of my other categories? But the answer was no. And she said, you know, Shannon, why don't you pray about it? Why don't you ask God to help you with this decision and to really take ownership of your finances for you and to help you really see that you're going to be just fine if you don't go to that party. <laughs> and it was hard. It was really hard for me. But that week came along and that Friday night that the party was taking place came along and I got a call from a girlfriend of mine and she said, hey, do you have time after work? We could go for a walk. And so we walked blocks and blocks in New York City. She had some big decisions in her life she had to make and we stopped. There were some street entertainers and they were cracking us up. We were having such a great time. And then we saw the beautiful lights of the city as the evening came on. And I went home that night feeling like I had really truly connected with somebody who was important to me and I had had a great time and had not spent any money that evening. And I really got it. I really, really got it. I felt free. I felt free that I didn't need to have this important party to really enjoy life. You know, that's what Christ offers us, abundant life. That doesn't mean that we go to all these parties. It means that we live abundantly. And that's how I had been feeling. I was connecting with somebody who was important to me. I wasn't, you know, rubbing elbows with uh, some superficial people at a party. No, I was having true connection. I felt free from this intense 
um, feeling that I had to be somewhere with all these other people, but I felt free for the ability to really connect and be a friend with someone. It was a true lesson for me in freedom. And so as we think about this topic of being free, what, what does that look like for you? What is, what is Christ offering you freedom from and freedom for? So may you find that this week. Have a great week.